Hey guys, welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to use conditional logic in web form. Let's get started. Go ahead and log in. And let's create a web form. Web form. Forms. Add a web form. Let's just name this as employee details the status is kept open uh, this means the form will be accessible even for anonymous users let's just keep this as open and the category is if you are having multiple web forms you can group it under several categories let's just leave it as such to none save this and let's add an element obviously we are going to get the name of the employee so get a text field and type in employee name save this let's save the element you can also save it at the end i just save it right now let's go ahead and add for a look for a select box this is to check whether the employee is a full-time or a contract basis so employee job nature or job type let's add uh, the first one is full time and the second one is contract basis now save this now let's view the web form now what i wanted to do is when i choose full time I need to get the experience of the particular employee when I choose contract employees I need to get the vendors from whom they have been contracted so this is where conditional logic comes into picture now let's add the another text field for getting experience save this let's add another one this is for contract basis we need the vendor name which is also going to be a text field we'll type in the vendor name let's save this now if you go to the form you can see all the four are here but we need these two fields to display based upon the value that we choose over here. This is where conditional logic comes into picture. So let's go ahead and edit the experience field. So click on conditions tab, state, select the state visibility as visible, set element, leave it as such. For the select, you need this element to be visible based on what you choose under select job type so choose job type field here and what the value should be so if it is a full-time employee you are going to get the experience so select this as value is and enter value equal to full time save this as you can see now the conditional is applied which is visible now likewise let's save the element let's go ahead and edit the vendor as well click on conditions set visibility to visible element as all select the element job type select under the select value is contract so what we have done right now is 
uh, controlling the visibility of these two fields based on the value that is being chosen from the previous select field. Now, if you go ahead and refresh the page, let's just say employee name as Damien. Let's choose he is a full time employee. Now, what should appear here is a text field for getting the number of experience. As you can see, we are getting an experience. Let's just put in five and do a summit. Let's go back to the form. Let's create there is another employee named Todd who is a contract employee for which we need to get the vendor name. Let's click on contract. Says the vendor. Let's just say the vendor is DCT Tech. Click on Summit. Now, if you go to the web forms, click on Employee Details and click on Results. You could see both the results being displayed here. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.